Guys, welcome back to the uh, Crystal Palace Rebuild second episode. We are in the Carabao Cup final against Chelsea and also sitting comfortably seventh in the Premier League. Chance to get into European football for the Palace, the Eagles. Can they hold the bottle? 23 games done, only 15 to go. Crystal Palace and Eze can really do it, I think, and I hope so to do. Let's move forward. Guys, another big game at Selhurst Park. I'm going to be quick simming it against uh, FC Bournemouth. We did beat them in the previous game. Uh, Dominic Slanky got a red card. It's straight away in the first 12 minutes, scoring in the 10th minute. But now, let's see if we can actually beat Bournemouth and take the double. Oh, 3-0. Dakure and Danjuma with the brace. Crystal Palace, big massive victory. Three points to the Eagles. Guys, huge game at Wembley, but we are up against Chelsea. Jackson and Kunku really, uh, the duo really in form for Chelsea, but we've got a team that can win trophies, and Crystal Palace should be winning the first trophy in three decades as far as, as, far as I can remember, guys. And uh, the closest they've been in, it was the FA Cup final defeat in 2017, I no, 2016 maybe, and the famous Alan Pardew dance in the final. Uh, Manchester United will come from behind and win the final. But now, guys, let's go to the game against Chelsea. Oh, chance for Chelsea and Kunku. Oh, empty nets and a goal from Kunku. Chelsea, it has been coming, guys. Oh, it's Nicholas Jackson. Oh, he's offside. Oh, Crystal Palace, big relief there. I think Kunku was offside. In the first time of asking who's Jackson was offside and then Kunku scored. Sorry for the mix up guys, but big relief, sigh of relief for Crystal Palace fans. Looking for support. Is he gonna score? Is he gonna score? Yes he does. Crystal Palace 1-0 to the good against Chelsea. Against the run of play. I have to say, guys, Chelsea deserve to be 1-0 up, especially in the first half performance. But it's Danjuma with the goods. Crystal Palace 1-0 up at Wembley in the Carabao Cup final. Oh, chance for Modric. Oh, he hits the crossbar. What a left let, let off by Chelsea to Crystal Palace. And chance for Olise to really finish it up here. Could be 2-0. Olise should score. Yes, he does. Crystal Palace 2-0 up a year against Chelsea at Wembley. Modric hitting the woodwork. And then the same counter-attack. Olise scores for Crystal Palace and Carabao Cup is definitely going to the Eagles and Chelsea really up against it now oh what's a ball Danjuma is he onside yes he is is he gonna lift the goalkeeper he does yes he dinks it in and it's definitely Crystal Palace Cup now Carabao Cup is definitely Crystal Palace they've sealed it what a counter attack two goals in the second half and it was from the counter-attack. First Olise. Now what's a ball that was for Danjuma. First touch pass from Eze. And Danjuma lifts the goalkeeper. Crystal Palace 3. Chelsea nil in the final. Oh, De Gea is playing in net for Chelsea. What a surprise. And that's it guys. Full time at Wembley. Crystal Palace have won the trophy in more than 30 years. They've not won it. But Expert Khan. First time. Is it first season? Second season. Is it first season or second season? Yeah, it's second season. And he's actually won the Carabao Cup. What a team he's made into. First season, they didn't win it. Yes, this is the second season. Just mixed up a bit. Crystal Palace are the champions of the Carabao Cup. And finally, the captain of Crystal Palace, Gui, he's going to lift the Carabao Cup. And yes, they are the champions beating Chelsea. 3-0 in the final, what a game plan that was from Expert Khan. If it was his game plan, he executed it perfectly. 3-0 in the final, what a victory. Guys, we are towards the end of March. Two more games remain in Spurs at home and then away at Old Trafford. Looking at the results in since the FF, since the Carabao Cup victory, three games played, one draw, one victory and a defeat to Arsenal. Let's go see the table. And we are currently eight in the table, two points behind Arsenal, who are on fifth. And Everton really going through to the Champions League, looks like it, with nine games remaining. They are five points ahead of Arsenal. Manchester City 
looks like they are settling for third or actually they play two games less to manchester united will be playing next but for now let's play against spurs he's got Eze in the box oh what's a flick great save by the goalkeeper parrying away for a corner as they to Dan Juma, she'll score, he slots it in past the goalkeeper. And finally, Palace are one goal to the good. And chances of getting to the European football for next season are getting better by the minute. They are currently only two points away from the fifth position. And final result is 2 0 to Palace on Lise with the second goal for Palace. And the Eagles have yet another three points. Three crunching games in the Premier League for Palace. First is at Old Trafford and a draw. Uh, Tammy, Tammy Abraham scoring uh, with half an hour remaining after Gui. He gave Palace an early lead. And now to Anfield, or actually not Anfield, Sellers Park against the team from Anfield. And a 4 0 defeat. That is so bad. David Nunes, Gakpo with the brace and Mohamed Salah for Liverpool. Three points to Liverpool. Another crunching game against Manchester City. And a 2-2 draw. Gui here with an equaliser in late on. Palace save yet another point. And finally we beat Chelsea 2-0 in the Premier League. That's four big games done. One defeat, two draws and a victory. I think any Palace fan would be happy with this. And you might am about with the two goals for Palace. Three points to Palace. Guys, with only four games remaining in the league, looking at the table, we could be missing out on European football unless West Ham, Chelsea and Everton drop points. We can finish six and still get into the UEFA Conference League for next season. That would be still good. But I think the board is wanting me to get into the Europa League. We'll have to see if we can actually get there. For now, guys, let's go to the Selhurst Park and see if we can actually beat Southampton and take three points from them. The side of the wall, that is very unusual. And Eze to blast it in. Ooh, keeper saved. What an effort. Makes a run, should score, and he does. First time of asking, unlike Eze, Edward scores in his first effort on goal. And what a goal that is. Oh, chance for Edward. Is he going to square? Is he going to pass it in? Oh, he's shot. And 2-0 to Palace. The Eagles are 2 0 up and def definitely going to take three points here. And another three points for Crystal Palace. They are going to get into the European football is a big question. Oh, another three points for Crystal Palace. Stan Juma with a late, late goal for Crystal Palace. After Leicester scoring a late equaliser themselves, Dakure gave an early lead in the first half to Palace. And they managed to pick another three points on the road. And guys, look at this. Two games remaining and we are two points off European football, off uh, Europa League, to be honest. Because six will get into the Europa Conference League. See if you can actually topple Everton and get into Europa League. That will be great for Palace and the fans. And the two games that are remaining are against uh, Brentford away from home. And then at home to Burnley. That should be six points for Crystal Palace. But we'll have to see if we can actually do so. Guys, we managed to pull it off against Brentford. And now the final game of the season against Burnley would be tough. Looking at the table, we are fifth. We've toppled Everton. But they have got a game in hand against Southampton and Everton. Uh, I mean, Southampton and Fulham. Ooh, they can win the two games and still get into the top five. But... Let's hope they don't do that. Final game of the season against Burnley. Let's see if we, act we can actually get into Europa League for next season or not. And guys, we finally have won the last game of the season. Edward and Hughes, Danchuma. And let's see who got the first goal. Oh, they actually went to click advance. So let's go check the table. The board is still very unhappy. I see that we are... Oh, we are fifth. Why is the board not happy? They need a slap in their face. We did actually topple Everton to the Europa League spot, but they do get into the Conference League. The Evertonians, they had a great season too. Let's do a quick re uh, season recap in the Premier League. Manchester United beating Man City just by a goal difference. One goal difference, that was. And they managed to win the first league since Fergie left in 2013. City, Liverpool and Arsenal just managed to get into the Champions League spot. No European football for Chelsea, Southampton, Bournemouth, Leicester City relegated into the championship. FA Cup winners Swansea City beating Brighton in the final. Semi-final with no Premier League teams apart from 
Brighton, I think they're relegated as well. They were in the championship this season. I think they were not quite sure. But they beat Sunderland 3-2 in the semis. And Ipswich were in the semis as well. They lost to Swansea. In the round 6, Arsenal lost to Ipswich. And Arsenal were the only big team in the quarterfinals. And in the round of 16, was there any bigger clubs? Not quite sure. But Carabao Cup goes to Crystal Palace. Massive victory over Chelsea. And the UEFA Super Cup goes to Bayern Munich beating Chelsea 5-4 on penalty shootout. And Champions League goes to Man City beating Bayern 3-2 in the final. Europa League goes to Atalanta beating Spurs 4-3 in the final. And Conference League goes to Feyenoord finally severe losing a European final. That is a big surprise. And the highest goal scorer is surprisingly Edward Danjuma. Two goals behind him, Olise on 12. As they with just nine goals, I thought he scored well more than that. And defender Edward with four goals. Guihi, another defender with three goals. Sofian Amrapa with three goals. Calvin Lewin, only three goals out of 15 appearances. So guys, this season is done. Let's go to the third season and see what we're going to accomplish in the Europe, the European football. Guys, into the third season and looking at the squad, we definitely need to improve the squad because we are in Europa League and this team can just manage to escape the group stage and I doubt they get in past the quarterfinals or something definitely need players more than 85 rated so we, we can sign three players that are 85 rated and to do that guys we've got whopping 131 million to spend this season let's go searching for players guys looking at the team we definitely need a good defender in the ops position he's only 79 we need at least 85 plus in this position and we'll have to sacrifice Amraba or Dakure for the starting 11 position because these guys are less than 85. As a he's young, I'm going to keep him. Or least I'm going to keep because these guys are the only reason that's why the reason why I'm doing Palace. Edward has to be sacrificed as well. We definitely need a solid 80 plus 85 plus winger. Danjuma is 87. What a signing he's been. First signing, I think it was for Expert Khan. And with the scouting report, guys, we've got a few players that I can sign. Tommy Abraham is 86. If I really can afford, if I can afford him, if I were to buy this guy, I can force Danjuma on the left-hand flank. That, that is one option. And Richarlison, who's playing for Spurs, is also in the Premier League. He's half the price, and he's 83. He can be. For he can play on the wing as well. That is option number two. Guys, I've made my mind up. I'm going for this guy, Gabriel Jesus. He is currently playing for Arsenal in IRL. 86 overall and 63.5 million is market value. Let's see if we can actually approach the guy and sign him. But looking at the short list, Calvin Phillips, 83. Kai Sado, definitely not going for him. And we need this is this was probably my first ever shortlist and look at the players i'm targeting which are not even in my target anymore Sven Botman is currently playing for newcastle i can approach him and let's see if newcastle accept my deal this time and first signing of the season number three for palace and expert Khan. it is Sven Botman we've caught him in for 52.5 million i think or 52 and a half i should say and he's here in palace getting his training underway and hoping to start in the starting 11 for palace Guys, two huge offers. One is from Frankfurt, 28 million for Calvert Lewin. We can definitely sell this guy. He's 27. And on the other hand, a 26 year old, 80 rated, 21 million. So it's kind of 50 50, I think. For the sake of the reason that I signed Calvert Lewin last season, I'm going to have to let go of Edward, the top goal scorer in the previous season. I've accepted the deal from Sporting Lisbon and see if this strokes through, I can sign more players. I'm going to have to be approaching Liverpool because Gabriel Jesus' offer has been broken down by Arsenal. Let's approach Liverpool and see if we can actually sign this 80 rated striker. They are wanting 97 million. Oh, that is a lot. Market values only be below 80. Let's see if we can actually get him to sign for cheaper. Guys, I'm going to have to approach Manchester City for this guy. 61 million is market value. 22 years of age, 85 overall. And City can accept 70. That's what they're saying. But let's see if we can actually get him to sign for Palace. Because Darwin Nunes rejected 
and Gabriel Jesus rejected too. Guys, Liverpool have ma managed to accept the 94 million for Darwin Nunes. We'll have to wait before we can actually move on because I need to sell a player because the 4 million in the bank. So we don't want to empty it just because of one player. So we'll have to be selling a few. But we've got one player on the list that we can sell. Danjuma, 87. He's been offered 89 million. Gui, he's been offered. He's 83, 40 million for, for him. I think we'll have to. Bruno Costa. So... Porto has offered us 37 million plus Bruno Costa, who is only 77 overall. Should we accept it? We've got defender in his position to play. I think that'll be good. I've accepted it. Gu Guihi is going out of Palace. Manchester City for Guardiol. Wascal Guardiol is finally a 70 million first handshake with the manager. And Danjuma is staying put in Palace. Hoping to lift the European football and cut the season off. The third season, the expert Khan, Danjuma was one of the first signings. And the latest signing is Guardiola. He's probably telling him, you come to the right place. You are going to get your game time. And the manager is excellent. Probably similar across, across the lines.